All right, so now I got my triangles ready to go for both sides. Again, I'm gonna do that first column on each and I'm probably gonna scoot it down a bit just because there'll be more space down here. So I'm gonna reinforce with my hot glue gun. It's better to do it with dots. Leave myself, that happens more often than I probably care to admit. As even as possible it doesn't always perfectly work out but we make it happen all right next he likes to cover those so i'm going to need to make sure that my measurements allow for me to cover both sides so luckily since i haven't cut it too much and i have my second piece i can mark it over here and then mark it down here all right and then <coughs> I'm going to draw my line. And then because the other side should have the same measurements, I should be able to slice it right along. That's the fun part with cardboard. With the cardboard, you can essentially change the shell of the bot to anything you really want. All right, so it should be able to cover, and it does, nice. And then it should be able to cover on this side, and it does, very nice. So let's get it glued. steady line right. get it on there excellent all right so that side's together and now drying This side glued. All right, and then get that attached. Again, fit. And then we are ready to rock and roll. Now, another thing I can do if I want to enhance this design is I could also go out on this side and add another dimension to where it's more like a hexagon. So I'm going to slice those pieces up and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to glue it all together. <laughs> 